What's going on YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I really hope you enjoyed my last lobster video from mini season catching lobsters in Key West. Today I want to do some cooking with the lobsters because I know y'all love catch and cook videos. If you haven't watched that video yet, you can watch it right here or you can click the link at the end of this video or you can check the description box and click the link in there. I'm going to start some cooking today, we're gonna do baked lobster tails, kale avocado pesto on zucchini noodles, which it will show you how to do. It's healthy, it's really good, it's a great alternative to a pasta dish. So if you're interested in some lobster pasta dishes and you don't really want all those carbs and calories, then stay tuned. So I'm here with my sister Sarah, she's gonna help me. I've got five lobster tails here. I defrosted them though for a day. It takes about a day for them to fully defrost. And then I've got my oven going. I'm baking it to 350, so I'm waiting for that right now. Um, and then right now I'm gonna show you how I like to cut the lobster tails and how I like to split them and season them for baking. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a few tails. Okay, so you need a really strong knife. Split the shell down the middle just like that. Might make a mess. So then once you do that, you split the tail down the middle, and I don't cut all the way through the tail. You rip the lobster and fold it just, just like that. So it sits like that. So this one's ready. I'm gonna put it over here. So this is a really strong knife. It's not like super sharp and you don't want to use your nice sharp ceramic knives because this is what happens when you uh, try to cut lobsters with a nice thin ceramic knife. So use a dull, like strong knife. Start at the end of the tail here. Get a nice initial cut in the, in the top and then start working your way down. Cut, you can tell how hard it is. Shells are really tough. This one's big. Oh my gosh. Struggling. Struggling over here. Okay, there we go. So cut all the way down. And then you'll have a nice little kind of just like that. Alright, put that over here. Last tail. Smaller ones are easier. Okay. One thing that's really important I wanted to mention in this video is uh, the macros for Florida Spiny Lobster. If you're not aware of what macros are, I would look it up on uh, like YouTube or Google or something. Usually when I'm uh, tracking what I eat and what I'm watching what I eat, I like to count my macros. Macros are protein, carbs, and fat. The protein count in four ounces of lobster tail is about 23 grams of protein. Carbs in lobster is about 2.7 grams. Macros for the fat in lobster is about 1.7 grams per four ounces. So I think that's pretty interesting and nice to know when you're um, just trying to watch what you eat and counting your macros. And that's also just a little something that I do in case you're wondering uh, what I do to eat healthy and stay in shape is I like to track my macros. Okay, so typically um, with lobster, it's really good with butter and garlic. A lot of people do the garlic and butter on lobster tails, but ooh. What I'm gonna do today is a little bit of coconut oil, which has a lot of health benefits. It's really good for you. Um, it's a little bit better than butter. I don't think butter is bad, but I do think this is a little bit healthier. Just some salt and pepper to season the tails. And then I got this seasoning from Pork Mafia recently in the mail. Uh, you can check them out, www.porkmafia.us. Uh, they have a ton of different spices and flavorings you can use like for rubs and all that. It's really, really great stuff. I'm going to use this today. It's the Louisiana Bayou flavor. Okay, sprinkle it across the top. Top of the tails. It's really simple and easy. Uh, not much to it, really. That's kind of my kind of cooking. I like to just be simple and easy. 
You can do it any seasonings you want. Leave it on. I don't really have to rub it in or anything. I'm just gonna do a little bit of coconut oil on the top. So there you go, that's it. That's all I'm doing with the tails. So now my tails are ready. I'm gonna just throw them in the oven. My oven's set to 350. I'm gonna start with 10 minutes, see how it goes from there, maybe add some more time after that, so. So this just finished, and I'm gonna check it out. Okay, so if you look at the meat, it still looks, I don't know if you can really tell on camera, it still looks a little bit undercooked. What I'm looking for is a solid white meat. I want it to be solid. Like you can still see a little bit of transparency in some parts of the meat, and it looks a little bit too soft still. So. I'm probably gonna put this in for another five minutes, and I want some nice, uh, opaque white meat on these tails. Five more minutes later, checking on the tails. They look good to me. I think that looks pretty good. You know, I think I'm gonna do like, no, that looks good actually. No, yeah, the middle one looks a little bit too uh, undercooked these two off and I'm gonna recook the middle one. So next we're gonna be making the zucchini pasta, which is super simple. Either buy it pre-spiralized at like the Publix or Whole Foods or your grocery store if you're not in Florida. What we're gonna do is spiralize it ourselves, zucchinis. We wash them and we're gonna use this fancy thing. It's definitely a good investment. You can get it for like 20 bucks at Target or whatever. This is called a spiralizer. So this is how you make your zucchinis shaped into like noodles. You'll see in a second. Check this out. Okay, we cut the tips off the zucchini. You can leave one end. Stick it in the end there. You start spiralizing. Do you make it like, do you make So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure, if you want it to taste like pasta, you need to kind of let it heat up and get soft. So right now the zucchini is like, you know, zucchini texture. It's really hard and crunchy. But Sarah is gonna dish out some of the pesto. Are we using any oil in the pan? No? No. So we've got it on, what is this, medium high heat? Yeah, high, medium high. Medium high. She's just kind of spreading around the pesto on the zucchini noodles. Just warming them up. Just, yeah, getting them a little soft. You really don't need to spend a lot of time because what can happen is the zucchini will get, uh, all the water will uh, come out of the zucchini and will get really watery and soggy. So you really don't need to do this for very long. It really shouldn't take too long, right? Like, Yeah. I mean, depending on what you prefer to. I don't like a really soft noodle. Yeah, like I like a little bit of crunch to it. Kind of just like an al dente pasta mm -hmm. texture. So we're gonna do that. Lobster is done. I feel like we should have done this first because the lobster is 
is done, but it's it's in the oven, it's staying warm, I, I hope, I hope it's okay. We just got, yeah, we're making a mess here. I think tomato sauce would be really good too on here. Oh yeah, tomato, you can do a, you can do so much with zucchini noodles. You can basically do anything you do with pasta. Butter. Butter, even butter, just butter, olive oil. Yeah, so try to get your kids to eat it. Because <laughs> zucchini is like, what, zero calories? Yeah. Like zero calories, guys. And it tastes like pasta. Mm -hmm. So exciting, isn't it? It's so exciting. I like it a little bit soft. You gotta spread the pesto around some more. I, mean, I feel like you should add a little bit of avocado oil, a little bit of. Um, I don't wanna add any oil. oil though. No oil? Okay. I mean, I would add pasta sauce, really. Pasta sauce? That like, would ruin the. Tomato, tomato. That would ruin the pesto, though. No, it wouldn't. No? It would, no, it would complement it. You could probably add some little uh, cherry tomatoes in here, too. Or any other vegetable. Broccoli. Yeah. You could add a little bit of broccoli, a little bit of cauliflower, some peas, corn. Yes. Not corn. Not corn. Not okay. corn. Not corn. <laughs> That's pretty much it. That's all we have to do, right? Mm -hmm. And then we can eat. <laughs> all right, guys. We're about to eat soon. I'm so excited. Do you know how to get it out? No. So just you just, it out. I would go from the top and stick your fork in there and then get under it and rip it, pull, pull it forward. You want to get it out of the shell? Yeah. Before? I would get it, I mean, I would at least get it loose from the shell. Pull it forward? Yeah. Okay, so by the time you're done with your lobsters, they should come out the shell pretty easily. It will rip from the shell very nicely and cleanly. Just like that. Mm -hmm. So you can see the shell. See how you can see, get get all up in there. Yeah, see the shell's clean, it should rip out very nice. Okay, that's a good cooked lobster tail. Mm. That's perfect, and just the meat comes out nice and clean. So you need to go into the other side, rip it out. Oh, it's perfect, Sarah. We did them perfect. That extra five minutes just was perfect. So then it should come out nice and clean. Oh my gosh, that looks nice so good. That nice meat there, like that, just the shell, and you can throw this away. So, let me see you do it to yours. Okay. Yep, pick it out from there. Yeah, dig it in there, pull get it, it from under, and pull it forward, or backward, whatever. See how it should come off the shell real nice? Oh, there you go, you're getting it. Perfect, mm -hmm. look at that. Okay, oh yeah. And then I feel like I'm kinda... Good job. Okay, Sarah pulled out her first lobster tail meat. <laughs> excited, you're Yay. excited. Now I really wanna eat it. Yeah, no, we're really hungry. <laughs> we gotta eat this. So what you can do, I think, is you can, you know, you can mix up the meat and put it into the zucchini. You can eat it by itself. You can get a little bowl of melted butter and dip it. You can get a little bit of lemon juice. You can squirt a little bit of lemon over the top. Uh, there's tons of things you can do with this, but we're starving, so we're gonna dig in. Just keep it. <laughs> Sarah likes calamari. I don't love lobster, so. I'm gonna try this. Mmm. Mm hmm. It's good? Mm hmm. <laughs> we cooked it perfect. It's a little sweet. A sweet meat, but mm -hmm. that's why I like it. Mmm, mmm, so good, guys. Oh my god! Mm. Oh, this is perfect. Mm -hmm. It's nice and buttery. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should have some wine right now. <laughs> I feel like what would go really well with the lobster is like a really good salad, like an apple cranberry salad. Really? Just to go well, because it's very sweet. But the pesto goes really good with it. Mm -hmm. I was just about to say I want to try it with the pesto, like dip it, right it, dip it yeah, in, like just like that. Do you want to get like a, like a? Oh my god, sir, it's so good if you put it, like take a bite of lobster and then swirl in some zucchini noodles. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh, I'm making a mess. Oh yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this catch and cook. I hope we did a good job for y'all. We're gonna finish up eating our lobster meal right here and it's delicious. I hope you get a chance to try this recipe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, 
hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you here. Ready for more videos, more fishing, more catching cooks. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in my next video, guys. Mm, this is so freaking good, girl. Mm -hmm. Mine needs a little bit more like, salt. Honestly, this is actually really freaking good. Mm -hmm. The like, lobster is amazing. And we got we let, we let it get cold a little bit because we had to film. I know. Like it's even good a little bit cold. Well, I kind of like cold meat. The lobster is, is cooked perfect. Like I cooked that. I cooked a lobster tail the other day for breakfast, and I did it too much. I like I overdid it. This is perfect. This is so perfect. This is really. How much did you have it at fifteen? I forgot how much I did it at. This is so good, really. Ah, I'm so glad you like it. <laughs> I love it. And I don't like lobster that much, like red. Like Maine lobster? Yeah, like Maine lobster. No, I don't love. I actually don't think I've ever had Maine lobster, but Florida lobster, Florida spiny lobster is like my favorite. Oh, I love it so much. It's like the next best thing is scallops. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Oh, I got that. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Like a little bit of. <laughs> Sarah, you guys, we had a third tail. We split the third tail. And Sarah is like. Wait, there's a lot more meat back there. She's like picking it. Make sure you it. get all she's that, like, guys. She's like getting it all out. With my finger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we like we just destroyed these tails. They, they were so good, guys. It was actually really good. Like I was really hungry, but they were really good. Yeah. They were actually really good. Like, mm. I was pretty, pretty impressed mm. with our skills. We're, we're pretty fancy. We're pretty good. <laughs> Let me get the fingers. Get it. Pick it out. <laughs> pick it out. Pick it out. <laughs> oh yeah, she's getting all up in there. We from? <laughs> yep. And wait, wait. Take the, take the fork. Now we have all this mess to clean up. <laughs> Yum. Get it in there. Get all that meat, guys. Yum. Okay, I think I got a pretty